first ever meeting between UConn and Northwestern. And the right to advance to the Sweet 16 is at stake. Chris Collins, a dookie that knows a lot about basketball. So what do you say? No inverts. <laughs> <laughs> and of course, Danny Hurley, it's all about championships for him. And right now it's Klingon jumping it up with hunger. Northwestern without Matthew Nicholson and Ty Berry both out for the rest of the season. Northwestern controls the tip. Right, Eagle. Right, Eagle right now, UConn Huskies go mid -mid. By the way, the matchup. Kessel, terrific defender on Boo Booey. What they did in overtime against the Owls, they dominated the extra session to move on to the second round. Back in, Barnheiser brings toughness, fade away, and it's off the rim, rebounded by Klingon. And they need the big three to perform the two guards. And Barnheiser, they outscored Florida Atlantic 19 to 7 in overtime. They had just 19 points at halftime and won the game over the Owls. Well, they shot 61% in the second half and overtime mm -hmm. and so can they continue with that kind of offensive execution UConn one of the top defensive teams in the country and UConn. they keep busy bird on this offensive end cutting slipping reading and a step in by Bowie turnover UConn they had just nine of them in the blowout victory over Stetson nice bounces oh. no foul call Klingon gets a piece of it Luke Hunger couldn't finish Newton the other way in transition and that's right there is Donovan Klingon the ability right there to, to erase a mistake. I mean, easy basket at the rim, but 7-2 with length and great timing. Execution, so important for Northwestern. Klingon averages 2.3 blocks per game. Right away, Castle is on Bowie. Bowie, long distance three, no, rebounded by Klingon. And they will attack that drop defense by Klingon. Spencer, keep it on the outside. Caravan, UConn shot 53%. Can't key on one guy. Equal opportunity team. They were dominant in the first round against the Hatters. Castle, the fend off, the left hand is good. And the foul. How about the strength? I mean, to be that young and that strong, Castle just takes his time and takes off the contact. And a foul on Langborg. Used his offhand there to finish, but right there on the on the defense, Hunger could not come up because of the lob threat there to Klingon. So once again, getting in screen and roll, getting downhill, UConn taking advantage. And an early change in the middle. Blake Preston checks in, replacing Luke Hunger. Preston is the grad transfer from Liberty. 5-0 lead for the Huskies. He passes it, screens, does some good things, rolls. Really, really active here, cutting. Wildcats eighth in the country in three-point shooting, 39.3%. Bowie feed him. Preston, and again, Klingon, the inputs. May not get credit for a block, but certainly alters the shot of Preston. Uh, this is too easy right here. Dump it in, make it home. Oh, and boy, the read by Spencer, but the big fella. Makes people disappear with that wide frame. Seven-nothing lead for UConn. Klingon establishing position and making it look like child's play. But he can run the floor too, gets settled early. Double team on Bowie, now they back off. Castle, excellent defender, and a foul called on Castle. Second round coverage of the NCAA Division I Women's Basketball Championship continues on the ESPN networks. For more information on game times and listings, go to NCAA.com. Even that little play now, Klingon went over and shut off that baseline drive. Very alert early on a D. He's so big, he moves his feet defensively. And he can shoot it right here. Don't give him those looks. Pull up doesn't go for Barnheiser. Spencer picked up by Martinelli, the sophomore. Switching everything now, mismatch inside, high low action. Look at this beautiful play, you right, good call. Tip in, no, it was still on the cylinder. Won't count for Klingon. A little FIBA action pretty, there. Pretty, when they're, yeah. exactly. Have you already advanced to the summer, Grant, mentally? <laughs> no, I saw Sean Ford here though, but no, Klingon's so big, and obviously mm. almost came off, but in the cylinder, and that's gonna be, a tough night. You know, look, Northwestern's played against height before Zach Eady twice. They yeah. beat him this year, Purdue, but Eady's a different style. Big. Dan Klingon. Barnheiser. Oh, nice. Denied. Follow 
goes, and Blake Preston cracks the seal for Northwestern. Why he quietly gets things done? Terrific look. We asked Chris Collins about Barnheiser, and he said he's so unique. In addition to all the skills, he's built like a tank. Get it inside, Clinton missed it with a floater. Well, they are riding a nice look to, by Newton to the correct hand. Mike Board, feed it. Brad transfer, Preston. One on one with Klingon. Oh, Bowie really doing a nice job, not giving touches to Bowie. Preston tosses it away. Spencer on the move. Castle can get upstairs, and he smacks the backboard after the flush. So many guys can do so many things for UConn. Spencer running the break with a great find. Brad Bowie is a guy who likes to get his stuff within the floor. I think he has to be hungry up a little more and, and really hunt his shot. Yes, it's not letting them get touches, though. Northwestern, one of seven from the field. UConn is four of six. Langborn trying to work against Newton, a long defender. Automatic switch right here. Got to go. Bowie, four, three. Bowie, <laughs> drop, no. Rebound. Preston got his hands on it, but it's controlled by Newton and the Huskies. Lots them in the early for an open three. Spencer, nice early offense. The run. Again, the ability to run the floor. And Raf Klingon got tripped and still had the balance to finish early. It's all UConn. It's been all UConn energy so far. 11-2 lead. Send it over to Tracy. Ian, Dan Hurley is the king of superstitions, especially on game day. He has to have eight M&Ms before every game. He has to have a cup of bulletproof coffee on the sidelines at all times and do not knock it over. And he has to wear the same suit and socks and shoes and, yes, the same Red Dragon underwear. And don't worry, it is clean. His wife, Andrea, travels with a portable washing machine. I mean, you can't make that up, Ian. And apparently they travel a... Maytag repairman with them as part of the crew. No, they do not. Uh, who has a portable washing machine? I didn't even know that existed. Oh, yeah, nice little floater by Martinelli. There's a, a man whose wife loves him. I thought Bob, Bobby Hurley was high maintenance. <laughs> He's the only coach I don't like to interview before the game. Yeah, this for is obvious reasons. This is the living version of Silver Linings playbook for the Yukon Huskies, who now lead it 11 4. Spencer with four assists already. Only gets a little over one again game they all do what they have to do to win oh. upstairs Clinton nice help there and knocked out of bounds off of hunger 4.6 on the shot clock we are in the first half UConn leads it and Jamie we've seen some incredible scoring numbers in this tournament four teams have scored over 100 points zero in the last four tournaments Purdue the latest with 106 points in the win over Utah State top two seeds remain Unbeaten UConn and Houston still to play and the Big East 5 and 0 oh. Creighton Marquette have advanced UConn trying to join them there in the Sweet 16. And Connecticut they are on the floor. They have backups at each spot. The R can get after people having trouble getting it in. Lob it in. Caravan feeds it for Spencer. Has to work quickly. The floater is short. And the box out there by Hunger. And they got numbers here if they hurry. Good look. Barnizer. Short. Hunger keeps it alive, grabbed by Klingon. Hassan Diara is in the game for UConn. Diara gets a free. Look at this. Leaves it for Klingon, who rocks the rim. Not the patience of Diara, but once again, Klingon, get those puppies up and down. 12 of their 13 points have come in the paint, and it's 13 4, Northwestern down. But we love that floater. There's that drop deep. Now we got to push. So Diara was there physically. That's another man down for Northwestern. Langborg turned over. The, the lay here. Spencer drive and oh, What they're doing defensively right now, Raph, the physicality on the defensive end is overwhelming the Wildcats. And their ability to create turnovers and get down. And multiple guys can make plays and make reads. And he really pushes buttons. Goodness. Did they respond a bad angle on the entry? And that's the third Northwestern turnover of the half. Watch live men's games on your computer, phone, tablet, streaming device with NCAA March Madness Live. Download right now to stay up to date on all the action. 
Dan Hurley's team, seven straight NCAA tournament wins by 13 points or more. That's the longest streak in NCAA tournament history. That's how dominant they've been. It's amazing. It really is. Uh, that we all talk about. They started with D and rebounding and some of the work on offense. Newton couldn't hit the jumper. Samson Johnson, the big, is in for UConn. And they went after the loose ball there. Castle returns for the Huskies. Luke Smith on the floor, too. Really good defender. Bowie crosses, low dribble, kick, corner. Smith, the walk-on drives. Passed up the shot. Hurley wanted to travel. Langborg is having a tough time. There. Really, really physical with Langborg. That's almost had a steal there. He did. He was sniffing. Splits defender. Nice. Bowie gets it up. Smith tries to duck in. Couldn't get it to go. Diara in a rush up the floor. Watch the delay three. Caravan off the heel. And a rebound for Bowie. And this defensive line about here right now is swarming out there for UConn. Look at them trap the ball and then recover. Northwestern is 2 of 11 from the field. No easy looks. Got to attack and get to the line somehow. They need offense. Smith can't provide it. Missed it. 15-4, Huskies. If they don't run, they run great sets as well. Caravan nice bounces. Newton hangs. That's in there, and the foul. And Caravan is happy as if he made a three with that pass. They cut. They're unselfish. They know how to finish plays on top of their game. That's why they've been number one. Picking them up and getting into them and making everything difficult. And those three perimeter guys are big time players. So uh, got to take away the three point line and we got to try to wear down their lack of depth. Appreciate it. All right, Tracy, there's a deep connection here between both head coaches Dan Hurley, his dad, Hall of Famer Bob Hurley, watching on from behind the UConn bench. You've got Chris Collins, his dad, Doug Collins on hand. Doug, a finalist for the Hall of Fame. And Chris and Dan have talked about that bond, being coaches' sons and knowing what is expected of you from a basketball standpoint. And you know, they talk glowingly about their fathers and the imprint that they made. How about sounding boards, though? Somebody that chat to that's been through it. Yeah. Knows the game. Knows that deal with youngsters. Martinelli drives in on Castle. They're looking oh, at the They get it on the floater. They're going to have to create on their own. They can run their sets, but the adjustment is magnificent by UConn. So it's got to be some individual effort. Bowie in particular. 18-6. Huskies. Screen from Johnson. Newton uses it for the second time. Look at that fake Castle. The adjustment it doesn't go. Nice off the ring. Nice screen off. Here's Bowie. You said it best, Rap, but the problem is Northwestern, other than Bowie, really they're not a one-on-one -on -one team because UConn is taking them all out of their offense as Bowie draws a foul. Send it over to Tracy. Well, I mean, you guys were talking about Chris Collins and Danny Hurley being coaches' sons. I spoke with Hurley about it yesterday. He told me they just understand each other. They can relate to how each grew up in gyms with their fathers, how their whole lives have been about basketball, and the expectations that come with that. And their fathers, they have both just been part of their lives and part of their coaching careers. And Chris told me he has such respect for Danny. They will always have this connection. But today, of course, they are competitors. Yeah, and as Raph mentioned, they speak the same language. There's the Hurley connection here as well. Bob Hurley made the guy next to us. Well, like, sir, did a little on your own, but uh, <laughs> you didn't mind him giving you the ball, did you? I, I didn't mind at all. I'll tell you what, how lucky are both these guys, Dan Hurley, Chris Collins, to grow up in those households, to learn from these incredible basketball players. Shout out to Doug Collins, who also was an incredible basketball player. He sure was. First pick in the 1973 NBA draft. My father told me to shoot free throws off the glass, so I didn't learn much. <laughs> he thought that was uh, the best path for you. He said Sam, jo Sam Jones used the backboard. You gotta use it <laughs> Good too. enough for Sam Jones, good enough for Grant Hill. Well, you were smart enough not to put a helmet on. <laughs> That's, That's true. true. Right? Diara 
Penetrates and kicks. Stewart is in, a freshman from Seattle, Washington. They do such a great job with blur screen. Look at this roll here. Just oh, so quick. Can I mean, they missed it on the interior. He actually gets ahead of himself. He's so quick. Look at the show. And he's back. Nothing easy for Bowie. Lost it for a moment. Hunger now, 15 to shoot, makes his move. Hunger, bank shot is good. There you go. They need something else. Somebody else got to loosen things up. Got to have a hunger for the offensive end. That is the first two of the night for Luke Hunger. Stepping in for the injured Matthew Nicholson, who is out with a foot injury. Burry, two starters not here. That's why Chris has done such a great job. Ball fake. Spencer, pull up. Off the rim. Rebounded by Martinelli. 18-8 Huskies. We are just past the halfway point of this first half. It's all about composure, I think, for Northwestern. Stay steady, use some clock, and use the three guys that approve. Good footwork here. Shot. Barnheiser hits it off the rim. Castle can handle it. Early offense. Stripped to the ball. Johnson out of bounds. Well, first of all, of the, the, way, the way he ran the court right there, impressive. Couch or courtside, refresh your fandom with a delicious Coke Zero Sugar. Is it the best Coke ever? Try and decide. Klingon, Caravan, Newton, all back in. There's so many ways they can play, Bird. They'll play small with Caravan at the five spot. They won't play the two bigs together. I don't think I've seen that all year long. Talking about Klingon and Johnson. Yeah. Nice little screen by Spencer. Look at this. This is gorgeous. Just so easy. Klingon, great hands to secure it. Not just that pass, in general. And then rolling to the rim and does it in a fluid manner. And Ralph, I love how he keeps the ball high. Never brings it down for the, the smalls to stripe it away. They needed that three. Barnheiser can't get it to go. And the screen out by Klingon. Watch him with the early screen and roll. Clemson and Baylor coming down to the wire over on TNT. They do a great job screening and rescreening. Gets you going one way, go the other. Nice slip here. The feed runs into a wall. Barnheiser. And a foul called. Cam Spencer needs a moment. Yeah, I was just going to say he got hit. I thought Barnheiser was there. How about this play? Just love it. The ability with the screen, the bump, the big fella. Deceptive because of his size with his speed and length. I remember last year during the tournament run at the Final Four, you were really big on Klingon. Even though he was coming off the bench, you felt like his upside was tremendous. Look at this set. No one at home. Cam Spencer by himself for the land. And it was Sunoco that sort of stole the thunder from him. You know, everybody, he was such a powerful player. They had Sunogo, they had Jordan Hawkins, they had Andre Jackson. They were stacked. He can't buy one. And that's his shot. He loves to get in that paint. Wonder if Clinton's presence at the best. Bowie, short, tipped up in the air. Martinelli couldn't finish. Knocked out of bounds oh, off of oh. Northwestern. Bowie, Barnheiser, Lungborg are a combined 0 of 9. That's what they're going to have to do, get Bowie to knock some shots down. A little confusion there on that out of bounds play defensively from the Wildcats. Once again, this precise execution. I love how hard they cut. They're unselfish. They make the right reads. And they keep at it. They look to cling it. Spencer couldn't get it to him. Look at the ball move to go side to side. Newton misses on a three ball, rebounded by Langborg. And no easy baskets. Good transition, D. Langborg swing it, pressed it. Langborg, he's just not getting any open space. A fade, and that one. He found himself for a moment free to take that jump shot. I think he was shocked. Langborg, first points of the night. No points for Kornheiser, none for Dewey. All the way, Newton around and down. They worked all summer on offense. You mentioned it the other night, Bird. And all of a sudden, it's matched that defensive intensity and rebounding. 22 of the 24 points in the paint. Bowie, lots of moves. Bowie denied! Klingon denied! Two for the price of one! A monster performance early. Castle on a kick. 
Newton, skip. Spencer one on one with Martinelli, 12 to shoot. And no bad shots, but interesting. There's Newton, kick, Castle, short, oh! A Brooklyn Luigi! <laughs> A net ball for the layman. Come on, floor. That's, That's the, the only, only thing, thing that hasn't worked for you guys. <laughs> Get the wedge in the borough. You talk to me, coach, about yesterday dictating pace. They've been able to dictate the pace so far. How do you get back to playing on your terms? Well, we have to settle down a little bit. You know, we're really excited to play. I thought it showed ourselves. We missed some layups early. We've allowed them to get it in transition and, and get a lot of layups and dunks. When we've set our defense, we've been pretty good. we got to do a much better job of that. It's a long game. we just got to hang in there and keep competing. Appreciate it. Thank, thank you. you. Thank All you. right, Tracy, thank you. We've talked about the connection, Grand Hill, with the Hurley family. You go way back with the Collins family as well. Oh, no question. First of all, I played with Chris for two years at Duke. We got to a NCAA championship game, lost to that great Arkansas Razorback team. And I played for his dad, Doug Collins, had three great years in Detroit with the Pistons. So definitely that family connection with both sides. You've had the full Collins experience. <laughs> I've had the full Collins. Special shout out to Chris's younger sister, Kelly Collins, or Kelly. Uh, she's married now, but she played at Lehigh, and uh, so certainly knew the, the family very well. And just a brilliant basketball mind, Doug Collins. Great coach. Great, great analyst. Great yeah. analyst. Uh, you've had a few Tom Collins in your lifetime. Too. <laughs> no, 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 that, that's you. That's a whole other graphic we have for you. But he loves the game. He does. Great pass. I'm in Fort Myers a couple of years ago when Northwestern was in the tournament with him, and he is a gamer still. Second foul on Barnheiser, Klingen at the free throw line. The lead is 15. Klingen shoots it at 57 percent, but the stroke is pretty good. Mm -hmm. Well, we, we were talking the other night. Inside the three-point line, the stroke is beautiful. Outside, once while he pulls it, but he is going to be a fine three-point shooter. This is the largest lead of the night for the Huskies. 6.25 to play first half. Nice set here. Langford oh, feeds it. Corner. Martinelli. Air ball. Caught by Klingon. Seventh rebound. Good to eight, seven, and four blocks. What a first half for the big guy. And they are 0 of 7 from three-point territory. They're top 10 in the nation in three-point shooting. Number eight at 39.3. They can't make one tonight. Hunger trying to be a little more physical. There's that drop D. Newton kick. Spencer short. But even there, the replacement. Carabin doesn't quite get it. Always do the right thing on offense. Be prepared for history to be written, hearts to be broken, one champion to be chosen in the 2024 Stanley Cup playoffs. NHL on TNT playoff coverage begins April 20th on TBS and Max. 26 to 10. Gotta Huskies. Get, gotta get this guy going somehow. Bowie has been held scoreless. 0 of 4. He averages just under 20 per game. Floater, no. Now 0 of 5. Klingon clears. Spencer on the move. Feed it. Caravan. Rims out on a three ball. And it's rebounded by Hunger. I like the weekend in the lane, though. He's got to be persistent. Nice slip pass. Hunger drives and scores nice a big 10 basketball right there hunger did a great job though shielding clean and giving a little bump to create some space in that finish but I, I like this screen and roll action they're going to have to stick with that to create some scoring opportunities 26 to 12 five minutes to go first half there's a stagger dribble handoff off a pin that I mean just keep you Busy. New York native Diara. That's the cutting that complements their sets. They read things. They just know where they're supposed to be and where each other are. So that's the 10th assist for UConn. They have 12 field goals. Well, Luke Murray up on the sideline. He was the scout for this thing. They had it read pretty good. Barnheiser misses from three point territory. They have taken the collar. 0 of 7 from downtown. Newton, shake it, but missed it. Rebound, cling it. Powers it with the left hand. Oh, how smart is he? Knows the game, good feel those broad shoulders, seals the big. This feels like a runaway train, you can't stop it. And his presence everywhere on both sides is just incredible. The last couple of weeks he has stepped his game up though, Klingon. 
as good as he's been. Nelly push shot, it goes. So Klingon with 12 points. Northwestern just went over 12 points with that Martinelli bucket. He has scored six. Now this is the end that's been hurting them. In particular, Northwestern. Gotta talk a little bit, get through screens, and don't relax off the ball. A lot of like misdirection this. action. Yep. UConn 28 and 1 in their last 29 non conference games. They have just been a dominant program. Kick it. Diara rims out on a three. Rebound grabbed by Barnheiser. And three guys blocking out, clinging on that last play. The number one of them. UConn, by the way, for eight to three point range, and then Klingon comes up with another block. This Hi. time he gets Bowie. Neither team has made a three. Don't leave him alone. Spencer got a three. He is a joy to watch this kid. Forget the cross, huh? Cam Spencer's brother Pat played at Northwestern under Chris Collins, former lacrosse star now with the Golden State Warriors. Barnheiser missed it from three-point territory. 33-14. Looking for more. Deer upstairs. Gets the Look at this bench and this team. They are. And they are husky strong. Houston, we have a problem. Thank you, Jamie. So, ACC is undefeated in the first and second round, but Virginia lost in the first four. Keep that in mind. So there is a blemish on the ACC schedule. Our game summary. Finally, a three-pointer went down. UConn is one of nine. Northwestern has taken an over. They just changed that foul. It was originally on Barnheiser, and they've given it to Hunger. But UConn is up by 22 points with 2.34 to go in the first half. Speaking of Hunger, this UConn team is playing hungry. Very much so. Look at this. You're right. It's not a team that's fat after winning and having a great championship last year. I've been impressed with their purpose. Intensity. That's how well they play. Martinelli, old school, doesn't go. Justin Mullins is now in the game for Northwestern. Chris Collins is just looking for some live bodies. It's Castle out front. That means Bowie is dealing with Caravan. Switch. Sansa gives him a different look. Now watch him sprint after the ball screen. Castle, swing it. Spencer, shot clock at four. Screen. Johnson, high pass. Diara has to chuck it. Air ball, shot clock violation. Coming up, AT&T at the half. Sports, highlights, latest NCAA tournament news. That's all coming up on AT&T at the half. And was that the best defensive possession there by Northwestern? And maybe a poor offensive <laughs> trip, too. I agree. They didn't look efficient there. They, they didn't get into their action until about 15 on the clock. So much stuff. Look, look who's guarding Bowie now. As a Castle. freshman. Yep, yep. And he's strong, too. Mobile. Northwestern is 7 of 30 from the field. That's 23%. Bowie, Bowie oh, takes it off the glass. No good, but a foul. He had to work for that. Castle was with him all the way. Not an easy job. Tough on Bowie, too, because you can really concentrate on him with this kind of a lineup. With two former starters out, unfortunately, with injuries. Well, smart for Bowie right there, knowing clinging is out of the game. Getting to the paint right there. I think of some of those misses at the rim have been because of the presence of Donovan Kling. Northwestern averaging 73.8 points per game. Highest for the program since 93-94. They are going to be hard pressed to crack 20 in this first half after scoring 19 in the first half against Florida Atlantic the other day. First back to back appearances in the big dance for the Northwestern Wildcats. They've never been to the Sweet 16. When Bird, you, you look at this team 12 wins in the Big Ten each of the last two seasons, and third in total wins during that time, only behind Purdue and Illinois. So. He's done a great job. He really has, building that program. And Bowie had 22 against Florida Lane. First unanimous pick from Northwestern ever wow. on the Big Ten. First team. Caravan snaps in a triple. Where have you been? <laughs> He's the only guy not stepping up. And that 
that's the first points of the night for Alex Caravan. 39-16, UConn. Martinelli looking to drive it. Caravan using the body. He's back to that left. He's very good to oh, that right shoulder. Martinelli with the clever shot over Caravan. Now with Chris's background with the Olympic team and the NBA people, I think they'll ride that a little bit. Of course, he coached. See, see this, they just want to have it for the last shot. They're so smart. There's a half second difference, shot clock to game clock. They're playing it the right way. This is when you know that the head coach is pushing all the right buttons and the players are carrying out their roles respectively. Not a lot of mistakes. We didn't see any basically against Stetson. Uh, Dan Hurley did. We didn't necessarily. Right. <laughs> well, for the late minute, it's a little different. Yes. Kick. Diara, two seconds. One. Hot step. Oh, my hand. God. Tries to foul with point four on the shot clock. And he just has a burst about him. The ability to change speeds. He's strong. Did you know he's a sub, by the way? <laughs> he doesn't play like a sub. No, he Reminds me of an old UConn player from way back, John. John Gwynn. Oh, I do. Boy, your memory's good. Yeah, just he was strong, tough. could score. And he's like the sixth man, as you said. Incredible talent. Incredible cohesion with this group. Two national prep titles at Putnam Science Academy. Diara spent two years of his high school career at Holy Cross in Queens. And he has another year of eligibility, so not sure what the plan is. He did take part in senior day up in Storrs, Connecticut. Big East sixth man of the year. And that one is off, and that's going to end it in his first half. Donovan Klingon, 12 points, 11 rebounds, five blocks, a monster performance for a monster program. 40 to 18, the Huskies leading Northwestern out of the Big Ten. Send it over to Tracy. Well, Danny, on Friday, you were up big and you were still frustrated. So you're up big again. How are you feeling after this first half? I mean, obviously, the quality of what we're playing against, the team that won 13 games in the Big Ten, uh, you know, the, I feel a lot better, but we've got a lot of work to do. Donovan Klingon, he's at 12 points, 11 boards, five blocks. How impressed are you with his performance so far? Well, he got healthy, you know, later in the year, and, you know, he's just one of the most impactful players in the country, if not the most. And, uh, you know, he's really, uh, you know, really rattled them uh, at their offensive end. Appreciate it. Thanks. All right, Tracy, end of the first half in Brooklyn. The Yukon Huskies continue to put on a show. 40 to 18 lead over Northwestern. We'll send an at and at the half coming up after these messages. Here in Brooklyn, time to check out the Marriott Bonvoy first half stats. Yukon shoots it at 53% from the field. They hold Northwestern to 26%, including 0 of 8 from three-point territory. Ian Eagle, Grant Hill, Bill Raftery, Tracy Wolfson. UConn has just put it all together here. We saw it against Stetson, the carry over the dominant performance of their big Donovan Klingon. Yeah, pure domination, Donovan Klingon getting it done. We talked about him in the opening for good measure. Inside his presence, hook shots posting up. They get him on the move, he can score. And then Raft, his defense. Wow, incredible. Five blocks, some intimidation. But Danny said it best to Tracy. He got healthier later in the year. He has played such good basketball of late. And let's send it to Tracy. Well, talking with Chris Collins coming out of the locker room, they're down 22 points. He said they need to take it with four minute segments and win each of those segments. He talked about the points in the paint. Yet they have to do a better job on Klingon and then in terms of Boo Booey just two points he said he's being triple teamed other guys have to step up. You know one interesting wrinkle when you do your homework leading up to a game like this UConn they won five national championships they have never been to the Sweet 16 the year after winning a national title trying to change all that here very negative no 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 not negative it's just information <laughs> <laughs> it's his factoids. Uh, oh, oh, swatted by percent. Klingon. A new career high for Donovan Klingon. And is he on pace now for a triple-double? How about that? But that was a nice little set out of this uh, 
uh, coming out the half. I'll tell, tell you what, though, if you were coaching and he's doing this, you need a triple double <laughs> yourself. <laughs> and understood that if you have Bowie, Langborg, and Barnheiser combined for one of six. Caravan throwing it down. I don't know if I've seen that set before. That was they 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 come up, they're creative. What did he tell all of us? Watching European basketball, mm -hmm. pro G League, he cleans things. Well, we Danny. saw the sheet of paper with the 50 plays that he has, and I'll tell you what, there's almost another block of goaltending there. Oh, Unger turned the corner on clinging, but let's take a look at our AT&T connected cam. I mean, they throw it to Klingon, fake the dribble handoff, slip the screen. I mean, just precision, beautiful textbook. It's like a clinic. 17 field goals, 14 assists for UConn. Always active. Now look at that little bump by Newton. The curl to the box, impeccable. Dan Hurley, who is evolving himself, he'll be the first to admit it. He said he wants to learn about leadership, so he consumes everything he can get his hands on in regards to Nick Saban or John Wooden, Bill Parcells, Bill Belichick. He'll read, he'll listen to podcasts, whatever can help him become a better leader as a coach. I admire anybody who can consume. Can you download a podcast, Bill? Have you figured that out? That's why we have children. Again, that I just, they're so active without the ball. It's just impeccable their approach. It's 44 to 20. Every offensive set feels crisp and feels as if they've got a plan. Barnheiser over Spencer. And that's his game right there. Mid range. Physical, tough-minded player struggled in that first half and one for nine now, making his first field goal of the game. Well, we knew coming in the three perimeter guys are going to have to do a outstanding job. Puts a lot of pressure on them. They wouldn't be here without Barnheiser, the game time layup that forced the overtime oh. against FAU. Foul is called. Martinelli shrugging his shoulders. Watch whip around coverage of all men's games on your computer, phone, tablet, or streaming device with Fast Break, presented by Nissan in the March Madness Live app. Download it now. In, in watching practice yesterday, they simulated Connecticut sets, and, and until you see them live, it's the reading of the set that they do better than most teams, I think. Well, you take away their option, they have another option. It's almost like they, they have sets, and then they have principles out of the sets, and they just play. I mean, and the prep is murder to the opposing team. Oh, do you prep for it? Correct. Tristan Newton, first team All-American. Transferred from East Carolina. And they just thought he would be a seriously perfect fit for their system, and they were right. And to this team, though, the more you do their games, different guys, different nights, they provide the lift. Bowie can't get one to go. Look at this run by the big guy. Nice nice hands. Hands. Uh, it was affected there by Hunger, who got in between the ball and Klingon. How about the speed of, I, I'm amazed at Klingon getting up and down the floor. Well, he took two strides from half court and was down the this. other end, but beating everybody down and the trust that Newton has to try to throw it ahead. Spencer missed it from three-point territory, cleared by Barnheiser. Bowie is still looking for his first Ooh. field goal and a foul call. A cross check by Spencer. The lacrosse check. Mm. Lacrosse check. Very good. 17-31 to play in this second half. 39-point win for UConn in the first round. Second largest in NCAA team history. Good drive. For Klingon, that's seven. Look at him down the middle. Castle to Newton rises up. Help is coming. Excuse me. And the foul in waves. On top of their game. From beginning to end, the big fella keeps it in play. And the race is on. How about this finish, huh? That is right there. Concentration, the contact. I mean, everything's clicking for this this team. 80% shooter. When they're on their game, I, I don't 
know how you beat this UConn team. Well, every game is different, no question about it, but you've got to have a lot of answers. Last team to go back to back, winning the title, Florida 06 07. And this UConn team has that look. Uh, we laugh about the characteristics of Dan. I mean, he's humorous in a lot of ways, but he is all business when it comes to the floor. Agreed. He is a great teacher, great leader. Has his guys ready for everything. And I'm just impressed that they won a championship and they've come back even hungrier. He probably is a spare washing machine. <laughs> in the road trip. Just, in case, just in case the other one breaks down. Denver hits it over Klingon. 25 Mike Moore had 27 points in the overtime win against Florida Atlantic. This Northwestern team improved to 22 and 11 on the season. Look at that ball, how high they have to throw it. Newton probing. There's that little roll. He does it beautifully. And Barnheiser has called for the foul on Klingon as he tried to chop it out of his hands. That's number three on Barnheiser. And that's the one area that we haven't mentioned at all or addressed is Klingon's ability with that body to bump, get free, screen for people. He's just alive on that offensive end. Repeat champions, Florida, Duke, UCLA. You just have historic programs that have done it. And UConn trying to etch its name onto that list. Another free throw here for Donovan Klingon. When we talked about Dan Hurley and his dad, Bob, he said the thing that struck him about his father is that he poured everything he had into being a coach. There was a consistent intensity about how he lived his life and how he approached the profession. It was all about rooting out the habits that could undermine the success of your team. And, and when you break it down to that simplistic part of the equation, it makes a lot of sense. He has, they had pictures in the house. That, oh, scares, yeah. an even job for pretty. Blake Preston slams it down. Uh, they will play with distinction, though. Chris has done a great job with this team, as noted. Easy, easy. Two starters unavailable with injuries, and the pride that he has brought to this program is incredible. And a foul called out front on Boo Booey. Those pictures were of shooting techniques. He had his kids, and why not? King of the castle right now. UConn might be. UConn, the defending national champions. They are looking the part. Yeah, I got to live it up. Castle can get up there. March Madness here in the Big Apple. It is all UConn right now. The great Bill Murray, his son, Luke Murray, an assistant coach for the Huskies. And last night, this was amazing. Here in Brooklyn, what about Bill? <laughs> Bill Murray, Bill Raftery. You want to talk about a Rushmore. This is a Mount Rushmore, but Rushmore was a fine film that Bill Murray was in. If we get like Bill Bradley, we get all the bills. Ooh. Well, we're thinking of doing Ghostbusters 3. <laughs> <laughs> It'd be a bit player. You're and, playing the ghost, yeah. or what are you playing? Uh, great family. I just want to know, I, we didn't get the invite to that. <laughs> I think we got the invite. We just didn't realize that Bill Murray was going to show up. <laughs> we would have gone. <laughs> Uh, he was a delightful host, I must agree. So proud of what Luke's been able to do with this program. But terrific brothers and sisters in that family. Did you, now, did you pick up the, the bill? No, one bill did, and it wasn't this bill. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Fifty-one twenty-seven. Nice team and a half to go. Oh, Steal. Newton streaks in for the Husky stuff. Flawless. And this is a good team they're playing against. Got them on their heels from the get go. 16 points for Tristan Newton. That leads all scores. Klingon, huge numbers 14 points, 11 rebounds, 7 blocks. Back in by Preston. Show it. And doesn't get the bounce. 
Rebounded by Klingon. Intimidation. Here comes Spencer in the open floor, too. They just find one another. Spencer using the Klingon screen. Nice hesitation. Oh. And takes it in for two. I mean, this offense wrapped the inside game, outside game. They can play in transition. They're unselfish. I mean, that's why they have the highest offensive efficiency in all of college basketball. They all can do it. And this kid in particular, Danny told us yesterday, Spencer Watson. He's the only guy who hasn't tasted an NCAA championship. Says it's a great addition. And Jamie, their head coach, Bryce Drew, certainly familiar with a March memory of his own. Oh, I'll wow. say the hook and ladder. 1998, Valparaiso. Oh, son. Here's Bowie, fend off. Good pass. Get it inside, and hunger is stripped by Spencer. Defense, offense, intangibles, all of it's been there for UConn. And teamwork, nothing selfish, Newton with a good look here. Misses, too strong on a three, rebounded by Caravan. Cut by Spencer, extra, Diara. Too strong. Out of bounds, UConn's dominance this season, 16 wins by 20 or more points. They've had 16 games of 20 or more assists. They've held the opponent to under 40% shooting 22 times. That is number one in all three categories in the nation. We may not see Klingon again, by the way. Excuse me. In, in, a, in a really tough conference, too. I mean, that's Big East. Unheralded Big East, really. 3-0. Uh, Three's left. Johnson with the block. The power of Sampson out of bounds. And I love they're not playing the score. I mean, they're just continuing to compete. Continuing to play the right way, and obviously Dan Hurley demands that. And Tommy Moore, no let up at all. Alongside there, they do compete. Kamani is young as well. Pick to finish third in the Big East preseason poll. Marquette number one, Creek number two, UConn number three. I didn't vote, so don't look at uh, me. Apparently, you did not. Newton. Screen, Johnson, Bowie trying to stick with him. Newton, float it up. Johnson! Slam it down! He got that. He gives a different look. I mean, the speed to the rim, the way he shows up ball screens. Martinelli misses, hunger clears. Barnheiser shooting practice, and then nails the triple. So Northwestern now two of 11 from downtown. UConn just two of 15. I guess that's the one area that Dan Hurley can show his team and say we've got to see some improvement in Boston. Well, it's been all about paint touches, really scoring down low in the paint. Getting to the rim and getting to the free throw line. Newton. Rims out. He got knocked around, controlled by Martinelli. Northwestern's really outmanned today, but they play with dignity. There's a lot of pride in what they've accomplished. Three years in a row, the NCAA. Barnheiser is fouled. Couch or courtside, refresh your fandom with a delicious Coke Zero Sugar. Is it the best Coke ever? Try and decide. Brad, you said it. I mean, Northwestern without Ty Berry, mm -hmm. who is a capable guy who can really score, shoot from the perimeter. I mean, Matthew Nicholson. Seven footer who battled against Zach Eady and that win early in the season in their first game. And obviously, for this game, would have been oh, a with major, no major question. player against Klingon. Barnheiser knocks in a pair, 57 to 32. Nicholson and Barry in the bench area, along with athletic trainer Jeff Tanaka. Come up on 12 minutes to go in this. Second half. Newton using the Johnson screen. Diara gets the step on Martinelli. Yes. A pocket pass. Johnson couldn't catch it. Bowie. Spin. They, they double and they really have sometimes had three people on him. There's nowhere for him to go. No. Hunger feeds the post. Barnheiser makes his move inside. Shows it. Nice kicks hit. it. Hunger. No good on a three ball. Johnson's speed to just help and cover the floor defensively just gives a different look as a big and clean. It's still effective. And Hunger with a good look. He's made six this year in limited minutes. I did 
some extra research on hunger? You coached against his dad when he was a player at Providence. Rich Hunger, big man for the Flyers. Inside, Johnson, and he finishes. Do you remember him in the scouting report? Uh, I'm going to digress. That was a heck of a slam. <laughs> I wasn't, in, I wasn't the chief scout that day. Well, we found your scouting report. It was on the back of a bar napkin, and it said, Hunger, he's big. <laughs> I was always precise with detail. <laughs> 59 to 32. Handed off to Bowie. And now they box him up. And Castle with the takedown. Pretty good, aren't they? Very good. Yeah. Not bad. UConn, up big. Game summary, UConn shooting it at 55%, really controlling the paint. That was from the very start, 42 to 16. They've also gotten out in transition, 16 nothing Huskies. They've shared it, 18 assists with Klingon and Castle now on the bench. Klingon, 14 points, 12 rebounds, seven blocks. And Bert, that's what jumps out there, sharing the ball. So unselfish, one of the few times he's been alone. Bowie misses on a floater. Uh, the rebound controlled by Northwestern. Look at the help and then the recovery. Arnheiser back in. He's trying to take it to the freshman Stewart. And he gets it to go. Plus one. And that's Barnheiser's game right there. Backing down, being patient, strong, great physicality. And able to turn away from the double team there and get it high off the glass. Barnheiser is a player. He's had a fantastic season. Third team, all Big Ten. He's named to the Big Ten, all defensive team. But like it's been for all of the Northwestern players tonight, it's just been a struggle for him. Ten points, though, in double figures. Yeah, this bench has been alive on anything good. They are together as well. And it is difficult when you're outmanned and in a sense, outclassed to keep your pride. Oh! Say goodbye, huh? Back screen, and then the line. Samson Johnson, big time flush. So they found him on a few occasions right at the rim. Bowie gets inside. That won't go. Follow goes. So Boo Bowie, first field goal comes just before we hit the midway point of the second half. And his demeanor has not changed a bit. You know, some kids get down on themselves. He just keeps playing. Bowie from Albany defending Diara from Queens. Give it go. Diara missed it on an up and under, but he's fouled. Head to Bleacher Report for the latest episodes of From the Point by Trey Young, featuring the basketball star's conversations with A-list guests and his unique perspective on stories from around the league. Download the Bleacher Report app to watch now. And, and Raph, on that last play, it's a little thing, but Diara makes the pass to Spencer, and the defender relaxes. And what does he do? That hard cut right down the middle. It was so unselfish, he finds him. Just reading the defense, understanding opportunities. Spectacular. Makes the pass, and Martinelli turns his head. Quick cut. So well schooled. Oh, and Spencer, it was almost like uh, Spencer knew that he was cutting on that play, and just so locked in with one another. The only thing that surprised me so far, clinging back in. Yeah. Dan Hurley has sent his big man back onto the floor. They have 19 assists, just four turnovers. And Raph, are you, are you questioning Dan Hurley's coaching? I, I just worry about the star performer, you know, at this point, having anything happen. That's fair. Bowie feeds it. Barnheiser. Oh, extra hunger high off the window. Did he get a piece of that? Mullins. Not sure if they're going to give Klingon. A block on that one. He's got seven of them. And Bowie is fouled by Castle. Class this kid has. Let's see if they get a piece of this. Yeah. I, no, he got it up. He got. Oh, he might have touched he got a little, little piece. Here. That would be eight, by the way. Well, they still have him at seven. So official score has ruled that. It was not a block for Klingon. He got it right there. A little piece. Barnheiser 
Nice play. Straight away goes. He's found his rhythm. He's able to freeze the defender when he's getting that little bump right there. Strong. Maybe not little, as strong as he is. Barnheiser, 6'6. Listed at 215 pounds, well put together, 12 points to lead Northwestern. Spencer, a screen from Caravan, now has one from Klingon. Spencer accelerates. And a soft touch. They all have game. You know, they play hard, but their offense also has an elegance to it, the way they, they execute. Lindborg, and look at that bench, too. Bullseye on a three. I love this attitude, though. It is a class operation. A class guy and coach. I love that Chris still coaching. Oh, yeah. Ryan Langborg. His dad, Kurt, was a swimmer at Yale. Langborg coming over from Princeton. Eight points for him. Newton accelerates. Spin. Lisa. Major highlight. Tristan Newton. How did he do it? There are kisses and then there are sweet ones. In traffic. Oh. Too high for a hunger. This was your realm. You came up with a couple of these. And the spin cycle, the hesitation, the left hand. I thought Ralph was gonna say, the fake Newton! <laughs> High level offensive execution for UConn here tonight. It's high level because they're getting into the paint. They average 38 points in the paint per game. 48 right now. Offensive execution, transition. Just patience and screening, screening. I mean, doing everything. It's really been textbooks. It's like dummy offense at times out there. And they sprinkle a lot of things into a set. 66-42, Huskies. Just under eight minutes to play. Newton watched by Poole. Activity always. Caravan, Spencer. And a step in by Langborg. Stumble. Good control. Langborg. Back at that. Look at And again, the spirit. Look at these kids. 11 points for Langborg, the San Diego native. Hey, there's always hope. They're going to get some stops, obviously. Let's keep playing. Newton cut off by Bowie. High screen, Klingon. Second screen from Spencer. Look at this. He just slips. And that bounces off of Barnheiser. Caravan saves. Spencer with eight to shoot in a crowd. There's your bailout. Ball is moving. Caravan missed it from three-point territory. Let's dodge it one the way he shoots. Two of 17 from long range for the Huskies. Barnheiser pivot. Back in. Oh, they got fouled there. Oh, they did. Northwestern putting together some stretches, or some consecutive offensive possessions and getting stops as well. 66-47 Huskies. We're down to 6.35 remaining. 20 to 9 extended run in favor of the Wildcats. Eight to shoot. Newton against Bornheiser. Newton the handles. Newton lost it. And then out of bounds. Good defense right there. Bornheiser taking the one on one challenge defensively. That's three possessions in a row where UConn has failed to execute. Well, you had mentioned before, Chris has not stopped coaching. No. And that spirit from the bench exudes, really. It's contagious. So quick. No. Nope. That team. Only six turnovers on either side. We approach six minutes to play. Barnheiser gives up his dribble. Hunger needs some help. And this guy can get going now, too. Bowie turns the corner. Oh, couldn't finish. That was big. Boo Bowie is one of 12 from the field. One of the few easy ones for him. Clear it. Newton. Screen. No read. A little trip by Bowie. And it's unintentional. And Newton goes down on the play. That is the eighth team foul against Northwestern. It's going to send Tristan Newton to the free throw line. And the empty side takes advantage. Clever release. Just doesn't come up with it. One of the few opportunities. And that's number four on Boo Booey. One and one here for Newton. They tell him to tuck in his jersey mm -hmm. that had extended beyond the waist. Now 
18 points, four of four at the line. He also has nine assists. You know, some referees are better calling that. Yes. What happened there, sure. You know, straightening out the shirt that others. You're saying some don't really care. Some don't think that. Let's just keep playing. 66-47, Newton missing on that free throw. He's not made a three. He's 0 of 5 individually. Bowie, stop and go. Look at that. Takes it, Clay and the And the foul. Good for them. Still fight. Clever. Get him up. Nice pump fake. Usually you see it on the three-point shot, but look at Klingon. And right now, everybody in the Collins house is happy. Talk about a competitor right there. Chance at a three-point play for Boo Booey after the timeout call by UConn. Northwestern creeping back into it in Brooklyn. Time right now for our Capital One rewarding performance out on the break for the Huskies. And Raph, there's been so many rewarding performances here for the... Connecticut Huskies, but in transition where they thrive, they make the right read, they're unselfish, they attack. And this team, when they're clicking, boy, oh boy, fun to watch. And you see that 16 to 6 on fast breaks. A lot of those fast breaks off of great defense that generates great offense. And now they're being challenged, and it's a mental aspect of the game now. They've got to show their toughness with Western showing their guile. And the competitive spirit. And you think Dan Hurley has used this, this stretch here during that timeout to motivate these guys to, to come through when these, when these opportunities happen. And then they always run their stuff a little bit better after a timeout. Northwestern has outscored UConn 32 to 26 in the second half. Look at this defense now. Spencer lines it up. And it rebound Caravan, the offensive board. And the reset to Newton. Find the open man. Diara with rims out. Rebound controlled by Mullins of Northwestern. They are 2 of 19 from downtown. Now you're not as loose if you're connected either. But we had a rhythm. You're thinking. Get it back from Hunger. Oh. Bowie flips it up. Another oh. block short. Klingon was there. He got one earlier. They didn't count. I think he got one there. 66-50. Huskies. They're just milking this clock. I think you got to stay in the flow, though. You can't stand still. Something getting resuscitated late in the clock. They spread it. Now it's Newton with six to shoot. Late in the shot clock. Newton lets it fly. Too strong. And the rebound tracked down by Caravan. Those so are the killers. And these offense, yeah, these offensive clips. Oh, well, you. Oh, he's oh, so Intercepted Langborg. Barnheiser lost it. No, they're not going out Indiana of UConn. Man. Chris Collins is in disbelief, thought there was a foul, but is definitely proud of his group as they continue to fight. So, Jamie, they're going to L.A. to play North Carolina, Clemson, and Arizona also in that portion of the draw. UConn has gone ice cold. It's left the door open here for Northwestern to make a run. We're down to 3.52 to play. Mullins gives it up, turns it over. Nice hands. No points in more than four minutes for the Huskies. Really, as you mentioned, not making threes, getting a little cold. And a foul on Mullins. After all the games are over, Adam Lefko, Jay Wright, Candace Parker, Seth Davis, they've got the highlights, the analysis inside March Madness presented by Buick. Later tonight, only on TBS. So Newton back to the free throw line, where he is four of five tonight. 18 points to lead all scorers. Came in averaging just over 15 per game. Just gets numbers in every category. He's got nine assists in addition to those points. He's the leading scorer in a quiet 19. It's amazing. We talked the other day about the four triple doubles in his career. He's special. 37 points per game as a senior in high school. 
in El Paso, Texas, 3,266 career points mm. as a prep star. It's a number. 68 to 50, UConn. Coming up on the three-minute mark of the second half. Langborg rises up. That's it down. Oh, yeah. That's the second shot oh. that he's hit on Klingon. Yeah. Playing with more confidence. We saw him come alive in the second half Friday. Nice little set, too. Double stagger and then the dribble handoff. 13 points, 5 of 6 from the field. He just couldn't get a clean shot off in that first half. Castle. Nice play. Give it up. Klingon. Fake goes left. That won't go. And Klingon really upset he didn't get a call. Boo Booey. Into his own man and a turnover. Castle, look out in these situations. Oh. He's looking to dish out punishment as he drives in for the deuce. His will and strength imposed. Look at the step work. Stefan Castle now with seven points. The lead is back to 18. Just over two minutes to go. Oh, oh. oh. man down the glass by Klingon. Do not go in there. He's got to be careful, though. He's whooping a little. Lindsay's saying to calm down. What a factor this kid is. And you mentioned earlier, one or two steps, he covers a great multitude of yards. A great stride length and great timing. Ooh. He just gave him a baba buoy. <laughs> <laughs> Here's Bornheiser. The jumper goes. They keep playing. And Barnheiser's had a solid second half here. Found his rhythm a little bit. They show their pride and dignity, these kids. 16 for Barnheiser. 70 to 54 Huskies. Castle, swing, no rush. A minute 37 to play. Caravan, the fake news. The drive and two plus one. How about him mixing his game up? Generally, you think of him as a spot up shooter. He knew he'd go without the ball, but triple drive finish. Fantastic shot fake right there that set it up. And now Dan Hurl is going to make some changes here with his team up big. That turns out to be the dagger for Caravan. And a chance to tack on one more with a squad up by 18. You have, you have to think that Dan Hurley will show maybe the last six, seven minutes <laughs> and use that as a source of motivation with this group. Bowie, float or no, but a foul. Two shots here for Boo Booey, wrapping up his collegiate career tonight, five years. Helped turn this program around. This team wasn't winning much when he got there. And slowly but surely, Chris Collins and Boo Booey, and with the help of a number of players that rotated in and out over his five years in Evanston, have made this a winning program. Yeah, they really have. And Boo Booey, just his play, his leadership, his commitment, and obviously his. His family, his brother as well on the staff. Oh, here he goes, too. He deserves a nice round of applause, that kid. His brother is Taylor Battle, the all-time leading scorer at Penn State, and assistant coach, Chris Collins. He told us the other day just how special this relationship has been. He said, hey, Boo Boo, we could have left. He could have left. Could have gone somewhere else. He wanted to stay. He wanted to experience these moments as a Northwestern Wildcat. And that boo was a complimentary boo. Yes. This terrific uh, player relationship you over the years developed. A gamer like that kid. Lost the rebound off the ball, miss, and a foul is called. And there is Boo really with his brother, Taylor Battle, who has a, another brother, Taryn, who played at Penn State and Hofstra. One of ten kids, so big family. He got the offer from Northwestern out of Gould Academy in Maine. Went to prep school after attending Troy High School as well. And the end of a highly decorated 
college career for Daniel Boo Booey. And look who he's there with his two pals unable to play. Burry and Dickerson. Amazing career. And he's got a lot of basketball left in him. He will be playing basketball for some time. And he won't be double and triple teamed either. That's true. He'll be playing with some guys that can do some damage as well. Zingare is in. Ruma Glue and Hurley. Over the backboard, going the other way. 43.9 left in Brooklyn. Andre Johnson now checking in, Bristol, Connecticut native. Do you remember your last? Yes. Yeah. Pretty emotional. Yes, we lost in the finals to yeah, Arkansas. Yeah, Arkansas. So you that was a tough yeah, one. That's even harder. But just knowing that it comes to an end. Yeah. You, know, you no longer will, will suit up for your school and play with that group. A lot of other people were crying when you left, too. No. Are you followers, to, the uh, coaching uh, staff. Mike Krzyzewski in particular? Uh, yeah, no, he, he might have been happy that I was <laughs> Johnson nails it for long range. His name's in the box score, and he's got scoring numbers to back it up in an NCAA tournament game. Foul called. Barnheiser will shoot a pair with 23.2 to play. Chris Collins is going to make a change here as well. Sophomore Gus Hurlburl will check in. He'll probably come in for Barnheiser. Assuming he makes these two free throws. I think you're right. Barnheiser's a junior. Lafayette, Indiana. Parents both collegiate athletes. Mom Heidi played softball at Auburn. His dad, Mark. Played basketball at Purdue and Auburn. And Barnheiser gets a hug from his head coach, Chris Collins, and meaningful words as well. 18 points, six rebounds for the Lafayette, Indiana native. Final 15 seconds. Hurley dribbling. Hurley gets rid of it. In his hand. It started with Dan Early and it enters, ends with Andrew. Another powerhouse performance for the Yukon Huskies. Final Making four. it look easy and route to the Sweet 16. The defending champions advance. 75 58 the final. The number one overall seed knocks off the nine seed in the East, Northwestern. In the first ever meeting between these two programs. So the final numbers, UConn still shot it at 54% from the field. They just didn't make threes, only 14%. Looking pretty impressive, wasn't he? I mean, he set the tone from the start, dominated that first half, and they just cruised in the second. Don't come near me. What he established early. 52 points in the paint for the Huskies. 52. Amazing. Those are NBA numbers. Yeah, they are. They're going to be tough. And Danny's got something to bark about. <laughs> he does. So UConn's going to await the winner of the San Diego State Yale game. Could it be an all Connecticut? Sweet 16 matchup. Wow. That possibility remains alive. And for Northwestern, their big dance ends in Brooklyn. But another fine season for the Wildcats. Over to Tracy. Actually, Danny just said to me, I don't want Klingon standing next to him. He wants him to stand next to me. I'm not standing next to him. I've been there. I've done that. Uh, coach, I mean, a dominant performance. I know you're probably going to nitpick that little run that Northwestern went on, but still, when you think back about what they did out here today, how would you describe it? That's impressive, because that's a team that won 13 games in the Big Ten, and um, you know, beat a good Florida Atlantic team, and so much respect for Chris and the Northwestern program, and if they don't have those injuries, they're not an eight seed, they're probably a five seed, and we wouldn't have had to deal with them today. Donovan, take a little step closer to Coach now. Uh, yeah, how would you describe his performance and his development over this year? Well, he's healthy now, and you're seeing just how he impacts the game all over the court. 
and I think he's inspired too. You got the new King Kong movie out with Godzilla. So King Kong right now, he knows the opening's coming and he's playing his best ball. Well, thank you, and Donovan, for you. A near triple double. You were two blocks short. Although, if you ask Raph, you had those two blocks, you know, and they just didn't put it on the scoreboard there. But um, how would you describe what your team did here out here today? Yeah, I mean, it's impressive. Northwestern's a you know, top team, top defensive team, top offensive team. They got a lot of skilled players, great coach. Um, you know, so just to go out there and, you know, start the game, play that first half the way we did, it's impressive. And, you know, we just. Just trying to get momentum going as we go game by game, and you know I'm just happy with how the boys play tonight. Speaking of momentum, how confident is this team playing right now? You know, pretty confident. You know, there's still obviously a few things we need to work on. You know, rebounding the ball better, better in transition defense. Um, you know, just just keeps making more shots and moving on offense. But you know, we're we're, pretty, we're very confident right now, and you know we're just gonna keep working. Enjoy this one. On to the Sweet 16. Let's go, go Huskies. All right, Tracy. Final score. 75 to 58, UConn over Northwestern. It's on to the Sweet 16 in Boston. Tune into TNT and TBS right now for live second round games. For Bill Waftery, Grant Hill, Tracy Wolfson, Gene Steratore, Ian Eagle saying so long from BKNY. You've been watching the NCAA Men's Basketball Championship right here on True TV. Enjoy the madness, everyone.